Good morning, Mountain Lions. Mrs. Silva here with the principal's message. Um, I have a couple of announcements. We have two weeks of staff appreciation. That's when our community says thanks to our teachers and all of our um, support staff around school for all they do over the course of the school year. And as all of you know, you took home a note to share with your parents last week and hopefully got a phone call from me on Saturday morning reminding you about the days this week. So if you're able to thank your teacher in a special way, um, this is what we'd like you to do. Today you would bring a personal thank you, like you wrote a letter, or maybe you make a book, something letting your teacher know how much you appreciate him or her. And again, those notes and cards are super special and so appreciated. Um, even if that's all you do for teacher appreciation, it will mean a lot to your teacher. So there's absolutely no expectation you go out and buy things because we know sometimes that's hard for families. Tuesday tomorrow is um, thank you for treating um, our students to an awesome education and you can bring your teacher his or her favorite sweet treat. Wednesday is we appreciate that our students were sent to you and thank you for helping them blossom. Bring your teacher's favorite fa uh, flower or scent smell. Make sure you're not picking flowers from neighbors yards. Thursday is thank you for nourishing our students with a great education. Bring your your students' favorite beverage or your teacher's favorite beverage or food. Excuse me. And Friday, you guys can see I'm kind of reading and talking at the same time. Um, is every teacher works hard and deserves time to relax. So bring any of your teacher's favorites for relaxation or hobbies. And again, none of it's required, but if you can and you want to, we know that your teachers love and appreciate what you do to show them how much you appreciate them. Um, and then we'll continue this week. I need to say a big thanks to our extended day program who did an incredible job decorating our school and making sure each um, door and workspace is um, special with the art and signs you did. You guys totally rock and we think you're amazing. Um, I want to remind you that we're focusing on fairness, so we'll be looking for all of you making good choices about being fair, especially when you're sharing and taking turns or being um, asked to work collaboratively in, in class, and that also goes on the playground. I have some ticket winners for you, so let me go ahead and read those. Tamara from Miss Plaque's class, and I think Tamara had been saving up tickets all year and turned in like a hundred of them all at once because I'm pretty sure your name might have been the only one in the box today. Michaela from Mr. Charles' class, Cynthia from Miss Hammett's class, Juliet from Miss Copeland's class, Matilda from Miss Litoff's class, Samaya from Miss Covey's class, Anisabel from Miss Statmuller's class, Elizabeth from Miss Wolzen's class, Sunshine from Miss Sargent's class. Connor from Miss Montez's class, Allison from Miss Harlow's class, Numaya from Miss Harlow's class, uh, Fabian from Miss Thomas's class, Rebecca from Miss Custom Borders class, and Ariana from Miss Thomas's class. I pulled two from Miss Thomas this week because I um, I understand I missed you guys last week. I apologize for that. So we're going to have another amazing week at Magnolia. Please focus, work hard, make sure all of your choices are fair ones, and we'll see you around school.